cybercrime, state on state, what we used to call script kiddies. Even with the, the best of breed technologies available today to detect such attacks, we're seeing a huge number of alerts, more alerts than we can possibly deal with. And so it's incredibly important that we understand which are the ones that are the game changers. Where do we deploy our clever creative minds? What do we respond to first? There's something about mobiles that are these extensions of self in a way that the desktop isn't. Mm. And that will change the way people behave around them, right? I'm Professor Sadie Kreese. I'm Professor of Cybersecurity here at the University of Oxford. Essentially, our understanding of cybersecurity is that of something which is very complex and interdisciplinary and is as much about people and society as it is about technology. Here in the research group that I run inside computer science, and you see some graffiti on the wall behind me, we're very, very focused on understanding better the nature of cyber attack, the consequences for people and organisations, nations, humanity as a whole, and trying to make much more intelligent and very dynamic decisions in terms of how we respond. The sheer volume of cyber attacks that we're witnessing today is growing exponentially. Imagine transport, banking, food on the shelves, schooling, getting to work, phoning each other, keeping the lights on. The potential for that to be switched off for a short amount of time and the consequence for us is so dramatic, it's incredibly important that we are managed to step up and really understand how we defend ourselves in these spaces. So in the context of the RISE scheme, we've been partnered with James Quinault. Now, James owns the problem of the UK's cybersecurity and information assurance programme. And it's so essential to the success of our science that we have close relationships with people like James because in the end it's through its application that we really understand how to drive forward the science. And in order to get that insight at the coalface, we have to be close to people like James Quinault who can keep us engaged with the agenda for the nation and our part in, in working with industry and working across public sectors so that we can not just look to solve the problems of 10, 20 years in the future, but along the way, we can really cut our teeth on some of the most engaging problems that we face today. My rising star is Dr. Jason Nurse, and he's a particularly special individual because he's managed to transcend both computer science and cognitive science and psychology. And his focus in recent years has been in that incredibly challenging space of how we connect between what might be a very abstract understanding of risk to individuals or organizations with people who have to understand what we're trying to say to them so that we can help them make more effective decisions, whether they're the police, whether they're your gran, whether they're the CEO of a very large organization. So one of the main problems is this whole idea of oversharing and that's that people are continuously sharing so much information about themselves online with little regard of kind of the risks associated with sharing this information. Whether the risk could be um, stalking or burglary if someone knows that you're not at home or, or, or kind of reconnaissance uh, for any other purpose, even to target companies for example. Criminals are actually these days willing to look at your Facebook uh, profile and monitor it as, a, as kind of a platform to actually be able to burglar your house. It's a classic example of the fact that as technology progresses, criminals are adapting um, to the availability of information um, and actually using that as a platform uh, to conduct further attacks. We've built walls, a bit like uh, walls around medieval cities and, and layers, but we've been very jelly-like, almost armadillo-like on the inside. And so now what we're embracing in this area of cybersecurity science is really a movement towards how on earth do we understand cyberspace as a system that has to work through and tolerate and exist in spite of malicious intent within it. It's essential that we support um, researchers like Jason because ultimately they really will open up the future and they really will open up these new scenes of scientific endeavour and I can't wait to see where he takes that. <laughs>